Hi beauties, so I'm going straight in and please ignore the fact that I am out of focus for about 90% of this video. New lens, I've not learned it yet so just bear with me. So I'm just filling in my brows as always with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate. Then I'm setting them in place using the Maybelline Fibre Filler in Deep Brown. Then as always to prime the lid I'm taking my MAC Select cover up in the shade NW20 and being ever so careful when carving out them brows. Then I'm just buffing out those edges with my concealer buffer brush and then just patting the concealer in across the lid to make sure it's all set down properly ready for the eyeshadow. Then for my transition shade today I'm going to take the Melt Cosmetics Rust Stack and take the shade Antique. And I'm just placing that colour all through the crease on this Morphe brush and then buffing it out using a clean blending brush and then just going back in and building up that colour intensity until I'm happy with it. I'm keeping this quite rounded today as well because that's just sort of the natural shape I go for these days. Um, I don't really tend to go winged out anymore so rounded is just my, my basic shape really. Okay, next I'm going to dip into my Jaclyn Hill palette and as you can see I'm still absolutely ecstatic that I've got this palette. So first I'm taking the shade Puta and I'm just going to use that to build up the crease slightly, just focusing that a bit closer to the crease line. And then I always like to go back with the previous brush and blend it out so I don't lose any of that colour I've taken before. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Mocha and then just completely deepen up that crease. I'm going to try and focus this a lot closer to the actual crease line than the previous two colours. And again just going back in with the last brush and just buffing those lines out. For the lids today, I'm going to take the shade Obsessed. Now, I'm not properly carving out the lid like I usually do. I'm just carving it with this colour because I didn't want it to be like a sort of sharp line, if you get me. But yeah, so I'm just taking Obsessed. I did spray my brush with a bit of MAC Fix Plus first to dampen it. I'm just putting that all over the lid, like right the way over, not just halfway like usual. Then I'm just going back in with a touch of mocha and just deepening up that crease again because I did cut it a little bit too high with the lid shade. And just making sure that's all blended out nicely. We don't need any harsh lines in here. Okay, so this is the point where I would usually curl my eyelashes, but your girl got a lash lift a few weeks ago, so now, for the first time in my 24 years of life, I have naturally curly lashes. Yay to me. So just while the glue sets on my lashes, I'm just priming my under eye. I'm just going to take the Max Select cover up again and prime all that area. And then just going in with the colours we've used on top, so... Puta, Mocha and, and oh, just Puta and Mocha, I didn't use Obsessed. So again, just building up that colour until I'm happy with it. And then just making sure it all joins up to the colour, same colours on top. Okay, so time for the lashes now. I'm just putting on these falsies. So much easier putting on false lashes now that I've had my lashes lifted, honestly, it saves so much time and effort. Then I'm just putting on a touch of mascara on the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with my Iconic London Liquid Illuminator Drops in the style original, just to add a nice touch of 
luminosity to my skin. Pretty much going for Tin Man vibes here. Just buffing it out using this Real Technique Duo Fiber Brush. And for foundation as always, I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And that is in the, I think that's porcelain, possibly. So I'm just painting that all over my face and then I'm going to go in and buff it out using my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. But I, I feel like if I do it this way I get a better full coverage rather than just going straight in with the foundation on my sponge. So I do like to paint it on my, my skin, pretty much cover my whole face and then just blend it all out using the sponge. And I am taking it down the neck because I am pale as fuck. So your girl got a match. Always be careful around the brows. I don't really know how many times I've completely cut off my eyebrow. So for concealer, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in the style Fair. Why is that in the shade Fair? I don't know why I said style. Just putting that in all the regular areas, so the under eye, the chin, Cupid's bow, down the bridge of the nose and then the centre of the forehead. Just to highlight those areas. I am getting into the hang of using less concealer. I'm not caking it on as much as I used to. So I'm just buffing off the majority of that with my sponge, but then I am going to go back in with a little small fluffy brush just to get those harder to reach areas around the under eye and between the brows. And to lock that in place I'm going in with my RCMA No Colour Powder and just setting the underneath of the eye area. I'm not going to set my entire face because I did put on that illuminator underneath my foundation so I don't want to appear completely matte. I'm just setting the areas I find I get the, oil, the most oily. And for bronzer I'm going back to one of my old faves, the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I am, with the start of autumn, I am going for more of a cooler toned bronzer. Like through the summer I went for like a lot more warm toned bronzers. But now I am feeling the cooler tones. So I'm just bronzing up my cheekbones, my temples and then my jawline. And then for contour, I'm going back to my old fave, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Taking that middle shade, Fawn, just deepening up that contour line. Trying to create the illusion that I actually have cheekbones and a one chin. Then just adding a touch of depth around my forehead as well to my temples. And Then just running it slightly down the sides of my nose to give that a bit of, more, more, bit of dimension again. For highlight I'm taking the Kiko Milano Water Eyeshadow in the style 208 and just spritzing my brush with a touch of Fi Fix Plus before I put it on. This is gorgeous as a highlight. I've never actually used these as an eyeshadow but for highlight it is amazing. I do want to get all four shades and use them as both highlight and eyeshadow. So I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, my nose, and then just a touch up along the forehead. And then I am also gonna use this eyeshadow to highlight my inner corners as well, just to brighten those up a little bit. Okay, I did attempt to put a bit of eye eyeliner on. This is the Kiko Milano um, eyeliner in the style 03 which is sort of a nice goldy bronze which I thought would look gorgeous with this with this look but my eyes just repel eyeliner so so for lips today I'm going for a nice 
dark lip ready for autumn so I'm taking the NYX lip liner in the shade deep purple and just lining my lip and then for lipstick I'm taking the bourgeois rouge velvet lipstick I think this is the number 11 one sort of that deep red and just filling it in then just to set everything in place and finish it off I'm taking the Mario Badesco rose water and that is all for this week I hope to see you again soon bye